Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's have this problem. So, Miss Tan got a business loan worth 900,000 pesos. She promised to pay the loan semi-annually in three years, and the semi-annual payment is 183,026.37 pesos if the money is worth 12% converted semi-annually. So, how much is the outstanding balance after the first payment? So, using this formula to solve for this problem, but first, we need to list all the given. So, for R, that's the regular payment. So, we have this semi-annual payment. That's 183,000. So, the regular payment is 183,026. 37. Then for the rate, since 12% uh, converted semi-annually, so we have this, the rate is 12%, then in decimal, that's 0 0.12. And for the time, since she, uh, she promised to pay the loan semi-annual in 3 years, so the time is equal to 3. And for M, since uh, semi-annually, so therefore, M is equal to 2. To solve for the interest rate per period, that's R over M. So R is 0 0.12 over M. M is 2. So we have 0 0.12 divided by 2 equals so the interest rate per period is 0. 0, 06 so we have 0, 0. 0.06 and for the number of periods that n so we have m times the time since m is 2 and the time is 3 so therefore the number of periods is equal to 6 then to solve for p so for p since after the first payment, so therefore, P is equal to 1. And for this N minus P, so N minus P, since N is equal to 6, minus P equals 1, so therefore, N minus P is equal to 5. So to solve now for the outstanding balance after the first payment, so we have R, R is 183,000, 26.37 times 1 minus, so we have 1 plus J, J is 0 0.06, then to the power negative, N minus P, and N minus P is equal to 5, then over j, so j is 0 0.06. So to solve now for the outstanding balance, so we have this 1, then minus, so combine these two numbers, that's 1.06, so 1.06, then to the power, negative 5, so negative 5 equals then divide by uh, 0 0.06, so divide by 0 0.06 equals, then multiply this uh, regular payment, so times this 183,026.37 equals, so this is now the outstanding balance after the first payment, we have 770,973.65. So 770,973.65 pesos. So this is now the outstanding balance.